In this video, we're going to have a look at multiplication and division of whole numbers. The any order property for multiplication states that a list of numbers can be multiplied together in any order to give the product of the numbers. The any order property summarizes the commutative and associative laws for multiplication. For example, 8 times 5 times 7 times 2 be more convenient to multiply 5 times 2 first. So we would rewrite 8 times 7 times 10. 8 times 7 is 56 times 10 is 560. Multiplication is distributive over addition and subtraction. 21 times 36 could be rewritten as 20 plus 1 times 36. And using the distributive law, 20 times 36 plus 1 times 36. We simply get 720 plus 36, which is 756 using the distributive law. 28 times 36 could be rewritten as 30 take away 2 for 28 times 36. This time it's 30 times 36 minus 2 times 36, giving 1080 take away 72, being 1008. Larger numbers are best multiplied using the multiplication algorithm. 128 times 36, the first line of working will be 128 times 7. 7 times 8 is 56, carry the 5 into the tens place value. 2 times 7 is 14, plus the 5, which is 19, carrying the 1. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 1 is 8. The second line of working will be effectively be 128 times 30. Now, instead of Thinking about this as multiplying by 30, I'm going to place a 0 and now just multiply by 3. 3 times 8 is 24. Carry the 2. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 already, which is 8, and 1 times 3 is 3. Adding those two numbers together, we get 6, 7, 4, 4,736. Division. If we had 32 cakes and they were shared among five people, how many cakes would each get? The answer would be six with remainder two or two left over. Each person would get six or six and two fifths each. The five is called the divisor. The 6 is the quotient, and we have the remainder as 2. This division statement is equivalent to the multiplic multiplication and addition statement of 32 equals 6 times 5 plus the 2 left over. Division is also distributive over addition and subtraction. 864 divided by 8 can be rewritten as 800 plus 64 divided by 8. And now we'll do each division separately. 800 divided by 8 plus 64 divided by 8. We get 100 plus 8 being 108. Similarly, 752 divided by 8 could be rewritten as 800 minus 48 to get 752 divided by 8, doing each division separately, minus 48 divided by 8. We get 100 minus 48 divided by 8, which is 6, being the final answer 94. Now, we could, instead of using the distributive law, use short division. So taking this last example, 752 divided by 8, 8 is the divisor that goes on the outside. 8 can't go into 7, but 8 can go into 75. 8 times 9 is 72 with 3 remainder. 8 into 32 goes 4 times, and we get the same answer. When the divisor is large, we can use a long division algorithm. This case, we're dividing 
4160 divided by 18. Now 18 will go into 41 twice which will be 36, 2 times 18 is 36, and then we will subtract 41, take away 36, which is 5, and bring down the next place value, which is 6. 18 goes into 56 three times, that is 3 times 18 is 54. We have 2 left over, and we bring down the next place value, which is 0. 18 goes into 20 once with two remainder. So the final answer is 231 remainder 2 or 231 and the 2 still needs to be divided by 18. So we can say 231 and 2 18ths. That's the long division algorithm.